Yeah. Harper, yeah. just move yeah. tilt into her head. Sorry about this. You want to... Hi. I'm Hi. Nice to meet you. Are you the official spokesperson for all these folks? No. No? No. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Well, we have several. We have several. Who is the official spokesperson? I don't know if you have one or not. It's either way is fine. Um, you might just stay in the... I understand. I appreciate that. So if this is just the area we the public, the public uh, be in. So yeah, well, if you can stay here, that'd be great. We are the public. I know. That's yes, why that's I'm saying you're welcome here. here. Good. Um, we would basically like to that, talk to, to, to our MP. That's basically what the idea is. Okay. So we're here to talk to him. Okay. I will pass that request on. Um, I don't know what his schedule's like. He's obviously in Ottawa right now. I'll find out. And uh, in the meantime, I just um, our office is open until 4:30. So at 4:30 we do close. And I just ask that you all respect that. Obviously. Well, those folks in uh, the flotilla are in jail right now, so we don't really care when your office closes. Uh, okay, thanks it's for letting a, me know. It's, it it's a serious matter, and we uh, don't want any more people being killed out there. I understand. Yeah. One of our members from Victoria is out there now representing well, you and me. I understand. So you're, if you speak to Minister Lund, then that will that will fulfill your request for the day? Is well, we have a few demands that he has to meet. Today? Well, <laughs> yes, we hope so. I think that uh, the government uh, should, should have already done uh, what what it was supposed to do and condemn the action that's that was taken place uh, a, a day ago in regards to to the flotilla and they knew even beforehand that the flotilla was going there and it was a peaceful mission okay so you're the I, I just want to make sure I know that you're on the same page as this lady yes, yes. Okay. we want to talk to well we're actually try to get through to Harper I can't do that I'm afraid but I can try to talk to my boss you can try to talk well, to I'm Gary send, I'm gonna send him a note and see if I can find him in Ottawa and, and I'll then do my we best want to talk to him I understand humanitarian aid to a people that have been blockaded illegally by the government of Israel and uh, a number of them have been killed and now a number have been have detained we don't know exactly what's taking place Israel is not releasing that much information so uh, don't you think that maybe the, the Canadian government has a responsibility Right, but what I'm s yes, but what I'm saying is, besides Kevin, there's been an action from a state. Well, what is your stand, and what is the government stand in regards to? Well, no, you haven't explained to me at all. You're talking about Kevin now. I have ex. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a sad reality that this government that's supposed to be representing us. Well, it seems to me that you don't want to listen to the folks that are out here demanding something from you, that you s and you have a response. Mm -hmm. No, you haven't listened to me at all. You're just uh, dictating to me what you want to dictate. That's what you're saying. You don't want to hear about our demands or what our concerns are. And we are the citizens in your district here. You you're, you basically haven't given me any information in regards to where the Canadian government stands in regards to the atrocity that Israel committed with the with the flotilla, and you you haven't given me one answer in regards to that. And and uh, we are demanding that the Canadian government acts and acts quickly. There ha there have been people killed, and 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 uh, I think it's the responsibility of this government to do something about it. Act. It's a, it's a piracy act. It's a murderous act. These folks were nonviolent. We're bringing humanitarian aid to the people of Gaza. We're demanding that this government does something about it. Yeah. Now, what is your office and the prime minister and the external affairs and the, and the minister of justice is intending and doing in this regard? I mean, it's been condemned from all over the world. There's been demonstrations all over the world. And you're saying that you're looking into it? That's a sad reality. It's a shameful reality. That's what, that's what I heard. I'm sorry, but that's what I heard. Sorry? Well, I'm here. I'm listening. Well, the, posi the position that you're giving me is no position at all. What you're saying is you're looking into the matter. That's what you've said.
Well, no, this is not the end of the discussion. I'm afraid that I can tell you that if something is not, is not taking place and, and the government does not do much in regards to this matter in the next few days, uh, I have a, a, what we feel here is that uh, you're no longer representing us and we will take over your office. We will, we will take over your office because you're no longer able to take care of this office. All right? Goodbye. Well done. Well done. Hey. Not good enough. I was just on the phone with Mr. Lunn. My question was, what has the Canadian government done in regards to this atrocity that had take, taken place a few days ago? His main answer was, we are looking into the matter. That is all that I got from Mr. Lund. We are looking at the matter for the last 16 years. Exactly. He was told what was taking place, the murderous action that Israel has taken, the people that have died, our friend, not, not, for us not knowing where our friend is at this point, and his uh, uh, answer was again, we are looking into the matter. So it's very shameful what we, get, what we have from the so-called representative that's supposed to be representing us. Shame! What you doing about Kevin? And it's really, really, really sad that we keep hearing over and over and over and over again how peaceful Canada is. Bullshit. Canada is not peaceful anymore. How can Canada be peaceful? when it doesn't state one word against this atrocity. So all we have here is a conservative government totally in bed with a state that attacks peaceful people going to bring humanitarian aid to another people in need. That's what we're talking about here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to demand justice here. Yes. Justice. I've told him my last words were we may be 60 today, but we may come back tomorrow and take over your office because you're not able to, to be able to, to, to have this office any longer because you're not doing your work. That's basically what I stated uh, to, to Mr. Lund. Good for you. What did he say about Kevin? In regards to Kevin, there was no information or whatsoever given to me. He stated that they are talking to family members. I've talked to his daughter yesterday. I want to make this clear. I've known Kevin for about 40 years. I know Kevin very well. I knew his wife who died a few years ago of cancer. And I know his daughter very well. And I knew his father. So he's a very dear friend to me. I know him very well. He wouldn't hurt a fly. I will tell you a secret. Before Kevin got on that flotilla, the Canadian government got a hold of him and says, don't go on the flotilla. They do it all the time. Kevin said, I will go on that flotilla because that's where I'm needed. The Canadian government should be telling the Israeli government to let the flotilla reach Gaza. Yeah. My, my last words to Lund is true words. We will take over this office if he doesn't do anything about this matter. Thanks for coming.